Hey folks, Asia the CEO here. In this video, I'm gonna give you a tour of the live streaming system that I'm giving away at 10,000 subscribers. So let's go. Hey folks, Asia the CEO here. If this is your first time stopping by the channel, thanks for stopping by and on this channel. We focus on tips, training, strategies, reviews, and bills to help modernize your media ministry. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. So I am really excited. And first off, I want to say thank you for all those people who have subscribed and got us to this point to where we're getting ready to cross over 10,000 subscribers. Again, I could not have done that without y'all. Thank you so much. I'm glad that the videos that I'm doing have helped you, your church, your congregation, and the body the church body as a whole and like i said i want to give back to all of y'all and again just like we did when we hit a thousand i believe we're going to do another giveaway for when we hit ten thousand subscribers so this will probably hit around tomorrow if not tuesday so again excited about that but i've had a bunch of people ask me what are the specs that i put in the system so that if they don't win they can at least build something similar so that's what this video is about so let's go ahead and shoot some awesome b-roll footage while i explain what's in the system all right for the case we are using the fantex eclipse p300 i really like this case i actually built a couple of systems with this um, for a church out in California, as well as um, I forgot who else I built a system with this case. I really like this case. I really wanted to get this one for my own personal systems, but at the time it was not available. And it is a very, very affordable case. It's coming in around like $59. Um, you can check that out on Amazon. A link is in the description below for all of these items as well. Now, just to let you know, when I did order this, I did order this last week and everything came in. So. Um, please check again. I was able to get this um, in a very short period of time in about three days. All right. Now, as we go inside. Oh, well, let's talk about the case one more time. It also has a tempered glass side. It has a magnetic um, filter at the top that you can take off. And it does fit full size ATX motherboards, but I am using a micro ATX. We have two USB 3.0s at the top, um, headphone and mic jack. It does actually allow you to change the color of the LEDs that are inside the system to kind of, I changed it to orange because that's what the motherboard is set to right now. Um, and that's about it. Now it doesn't have a USB-C up here, but I did add a, excuse me, yeah, I added a USB-C in the back with an adapter card. And we'll talk about that later. But let's go ahead and open this up. And like I said, it has a tempered glass side here. Very, very nice. Very easy to take apart. And I even left the plastic on for whoever wins it gets a chance to take the plastic off. All right, so if we look inside here, we are... We are using, the heart of this is an AMD Ryzen 3200G. Again, this is what I've been using for my live streaming system at my church. Um, personally, for when I'm doing sports and things like that, have been very happy with it. The CPU actually has a GPU as well. So that's helping with the encoding. Um, and again, it's been rock solid for me. Um, some people might say that it's like it's not powered enough, but again, I have been streaming games, church services, sporting events, conferences with this, and it has been rock solid. And again, this has been built only as a dedicated live streaming system. Could it do other things? Of course it could. But again, I set it as a dedicated system. And since it's uh, pretty much it's a very decent um, B450 chipset, you can always upgrade to faster processors in the Ryzen line generations one, two, and three, as well as you can, you have more than enough space if you wanted to add another graphics card. I am using G-Skill 16 gigabyte DDR4 
at 3200 megahertz memory. I have two sticks of eight gigabytes each, and I am using the gigabyte motherboard of, um, what is it, the DH3S. I believe I might have had the letters backwards, but that's the motherboard that I've been using on quite a few of my bills. Um, very rock solid motherboard. I am using the Western Digital 500 gigabyte NVMe drive for our main storage. There is, now I did leave the two SATA cables connected and you have a total of four, but I don't have any ex, um, additional drives in here, but you always could, and I'll show you where that is as well too. Um, and that's mainly inside of here. Now for the capture card. Now I have to be honest, this is the one thing I am a little disappointed about in what's in this system. What I'm using inside of here is a Decklink mini recorder. Now this is the regular one, this is not 4K. So it, yes, it gives you HDMI in, it gives you SDI in, but this card can only support video input up to 1080p at 30 frames a second. So if you tried to hook up a camera that um, doesn't allow you to adjust the frame rate, it will not show up in this. If I went with the 4K version of this, which wasn't available at the time of when I got all these parts, you would be fine. But like I said, just letting you know that this is the capture card I was able to get, and it goes up to 1080p at 30 frames a second. So your camera needs to be able to adjust to that resolution and frame rate, but it can also go up to 1080i at 60 frames a second, 59.94 at 1080i, and all that other fun stuff. But again, the max resolution that this capture device can take in is 1080p at 30 frames a second. Now, I also added an adapter card, because as you can see on the back here, there is no USB-C connection. You do have a DVI port, HDMI, you have about a ton of, well, four USB 3s, another two on the front, and then four regular 2.0 USBs, gigabit, ethernet, sound. But I ended up adding another USB 3.1 and a Type-C adapter card in here um, so that you can always connect other stuff, especially if you get an A10 Mini, this would be awesome. You wouldn't even need this, and you can just come in directly from a USB-C cable with that. Now, like I said, if you want to add additional storage, this front pops off right here at the bottom. And let me put this stand down here, with the camera down. And it pops off right here at the bottom. And I probably should get out of the light so y'all can see it easier. All right, so right off in the front, you have two bays that can hold 2.5 or a 3.5 hard drive. I have the cables routed up under here, the SATA cables, as well as I am using an EVGA 500 watt power supply um, semi-modular, and I have all of the modular cables inside of here as well. So you have cables to connect to um, graphics card if you want, as well as any other drive that you have here. And you have plenty of connections inside of there. You also, I didn't add any fans in here because I'm not doing so much that is needed additional airflow because the system does not get that hot, but you can add additional fans in here. I think they're 120 millimeter um, as well. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head, but there you go. And I think that is about it. All right, so again, this is the my gift back to y'all and thanking you so much for helping me get to this point. And, you know, like I always say, may the odds be ever in your favor. I hope that this will bless your ministry in whichever way um, you decide to use it. And again, for the rules, you need to be a subscriber, have notifications turned on, and register at this link that's at the bottom here. And I'm gonna be randomly picking somebody once we cross 10,000 subscribers. I think I'm gonna do a live stream when we go over there as well too. This computer will be sent to whoever wins if you're in the continental United States or we make arrangements to where it's reasonable. I mean, if it costs more than the computer 
to, <laughs> to ship this, I'm not shipping it. So this is for US only. But if somebody internationally wins this, I will give you a gift card they equate out to the same purchasing price of what this system costs. So again, thank you so much. I'll have a link in the description um, to all of these parts. So if you wanted to, you can get them yourselves. And again, thank you so much. If you like this type of content, I appreciate it. Like, consider subscribing and hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. This is AJ. Thank you again. And we will see you on the next video. Later.